Hi, James. Hello. Um, how are you? Very well, um, So I've been listening to your show this morning, and we've got an organisation up in Enfield called Love Your Doorstep. I like um, it. So I like what, well, I can yeah. work it out from the start. So you're encouraging people yeah. to go and spend their money locally. Absolutely. And um, we run a community forum up here with over 14,000 local people. And it's been a hot topic on our forum over the last few weeks about our particular high street here in Enfield. And we've got over 20 empty shops. And it comes down to a number of different factors. And, you know, give me your favourites. Give, give, give me your favourites. Some of them we can work out for ourselves. Feel, feel free to try yeah, to surprise well, us. Here we go. So we've got parking, we've got rates, um, but also the landlords. And it is exactly what you've been saying about trying to find out who these landlords are yeah. and, and why they want to leave these shops sitting empty because it's starting to make the town look horrible. Over 20 empty premises. Enfield's not yeah. small, but it's not, it's not a throbbing metropolis either. Over 20 is, is that's like missing a limb. It is. So we've got a couple of big um, shopping centres that are, are further into the town, but the actual high street's looking shocking. And, um, and, and what we're trying to do is just work together. I think it's going to take um, community cohesion to get these things up and running properly again. But, but also you need on some level to, to grasp the nettle of asking people to pay a little bit more for something, whatever that something may be, than they absolutely need to in order to quotes do the right thing and whether you're talking about fair trade or ethical purchasing or trying to avoid sweatshops whatever it is when you ask people even you know really decent people who really do mean well and have idealistic outlooks you might have to pay a few quid or a few pence more for that to quotes do the right thing history relates that they generally don't we i should say generally don't mm. but what we try and do is get people to shop locally and it's working really well because good um, everyone was shopping online, you see. So what we do is put local people directly in touch with local products and services. And it's a community. So and it's just based in Enfield. I thought we'd love your doorstep. I thought you might have a, a sort of... Well, how do people find out more about it? So there's a website, presumably. Yeah, there's a website. We've started spreading out, but we set up here after the riots to bring the community back together. Wow. And um, it's working incredibly well. We're in Barnes and Hertfordshire now and also Cambridge. Oh, brilliant. So this is our baby. Yeah. Oh, that's so fantastic. What is the website? Just lo loveyourdoorstep.co.uk. Loveyourdoorstep.co.uk, yeah. There you go. But, find, um, find out great more. conversation this morning. Well, we're doing our best, but we're swimming against the tide. You, you, you are as well, so you know exactly what that tide feels like. 10.54 is the time. A little bit of optimism here, although...